Weather rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Mostly sunny skies today, just a few clouds, but temperatures climbing into the upper 90s. 97 degrees, the official high in Waco today. We did have a heat index this afternoon right around 106 for a while. So definitely up there uh, where it can uh, really beat down on you and uh, definitely uh, reasons why we've got that heat advisory out. Right now, our heat advisory continues throughout the evening as well as tomorrow. Runs through 8 o'clock in the evening tomorrow, and all areas are included. Even added a few more counties over there toward Brownwood and Lampasas. Temperature-wise, 96 degrees at this hour, 94 from Colleen over toward the Temple area. It's 92 in Mahay and 95 in College Station. But look at these heat index numbers. Well into the triple digits here, 104 in Colleen. Feels like 103 right now in Brownwood. 108 in Hearn and College Station. Your current heat index at 107 degrees. So clear to partly cloudy skies tonight. Still very warm conditions. So again, just make sure you stay hydrated if you're going to be heading out this evening. Otherwise, try to stay cool. You'll notice by later on tonight, a few high clouds drifting in. Temperatures falling into the 80s. And then overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning, again, partly to mostly cloudy skies. It's kind of been looking like that here for the last week or so with temperatures mid to upper 70s, but that's that moisture creeping into the region. As we go throughout the day on Wednesday, partly to mostly sunny skies, temperatures climbing into the upper 90s, 98 degrees or so for the high. And again, our heat index tomorrow afternoon, about 106 again. So that's why the heat advisory continues. Maybe a few spotty showers well off to our west, and those will dive off to the south. Those won't affect us, but look at this. You saw a little line of some showers and some isolated storms move through. That's very late Wednesday into early Thursday as a cold front approaches. So if we get any rain or any thunder, you might be hearing something late tomorrow night, which should be some good news because it would cool you off and also water the flowers. There's the front, 7 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. Eventually, it'll try to move through, but it's going to hang up and out ahead of it. We may see temperatures once again climb into the mid to upper 90s. Again, we're going to keep a chance of some isolated showers and storms in the forecast. Just a check on the tropics, still monitoring that disturbance right now. It's an area low pressure at the surface and there's an upper level uh, low pressure area not far away either. They're going to team up and try to move into the uh, northern part there of the Gulf of Mexico and right now the Hurricane Center says uh, yeah through the next five days an 80 percent chance of tropical development. So we'll watch that very closely. That could involve parts of East Texas and we may even see a few sprinkles just east of I-35 over the weekend. 77 degrees tonight and by tomorrow 98 degrees partly to mostly sunny skies and take a look at the long range forecast. Those rain chances best will be found, I think best if I say that right, will be to the east of Interstate 35 over the weekend with temperatures mid to upper 90s and the same story down toward Bryan and College Station. Don't bet on the rain. That means you still need to get out there and water the flowers and grass with temperatures in the mid 90s.